the second floor bedrooms. Master Bedroom 1917, various bedrooms on the second floor are used for the President's family, and other guests. One husband and wife pair reported that, the ghost of a British soldier tried to set fire to their bed, it is presumed that, this soldier was the man who set fire to the White House, during the War of 1812. In addition, President Lyndon B. Johnson's daughter, Linda once reported seeing the ghost of Lincoln's son Willie, who had died in the very room in which she was staying. Other reported activity includes the ghostly screams of, President Grover Cleveland's wife, the first woman to give birth in the White House. Following renovations in 1952, activity in the bedrooms has decreased significantly. The Second Floor Halls Central Hall in 2001, the second floor of the White House, is the residence for the first family, so many of the stories that emerge about this area come from presidents and their families. One of the most frequently reported White House ghosts is President Abraham Lincoln, and the second floor hallways are some of his favorite haunts. Lincoln has been seen, or heard by many residents, including First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, President Truman, once claimed to have heard Lincoln pacing the hallway, and knocking on his bedroom door. It's not just Lincoln in the halls, President William Howard Taft became the first person to report seeing the ghost of First Lady Abigail Adams, who floating through doors on the second floor. The Attic Era Attic Room William Henry Harrison holds the dubious distinction of being the shortest serving president, and the first to die in office, succumbing to pneumonia a mere month after his inauguration. However, subsequent residents have believed that, Harrison's ghost still haunts the White House attic, rummaging around for something unknown. Several presidents have reportedly heard the unexplained noises coming from the attic, attic above the Oval Office. Others report that, Harrison is not alone. A Truman Air security guard once reported hearing I am David Burns, coming from the attic above the Oval Office, in 1790. David Burns was the man forced to surrender his land, so that the White House could be built. The Rose Room 58-531044, the Rose Bedroom is frequented by its former occupant, President Andrew Jackson. Numerous White House employees have seen, or heard Jackson in the room often engaged in hearty laughter, or swearing violently. According to White House lore, there is an inexplicable cold spot on the canopy bed in the room where Jackson slept. Among the most notable reports, which she recounted in her memoirs about her time in the White House. Not to be outdone, Lincoln has also been spotted here. When Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands stayed in this bedroom, she answered a knock on the door one night and saw Lincoln's ghost standing in the hallway. The North Portico North Portico Door 2002, the White House entrance has a number of notable ghost fixtures. A torch-wielding British soldier is often seen standing outside the front door. People have also reported seeing long-deceased White House ushers, and doormen still tending to their duties. Perhaps most bizarre is the ghost of Anne Sorrett, whose mother Mary was hanged in 1865, for her role in the Lincoln assassination. Anne's ghost has been spotted pounding on the White House doors, begging for her mother's release. She is also reported to sit on the front steps every July 7, the anniversary of her mother's execution.